Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Boric, and this is going to be a quick look ahead to the Phillies and Marlins. I was just waiting for the Marlins to put their lineup out. The Phillies had it out a while ago, so we were just waiting on them. But, of course, it's Aaron Nola against Sandy Alcantara. Sandy Alcantara struggled in spring. He had an above 7 ERA. Nola had a two low 2s ERA. Of course, that spring, so if you look at the past two years, of course, Nola had a 2-3-7 with 17-6. and six. In 2018, he was 12-7 and seven last year with the 3-8-7, but was still a really solid pitcher. Sandy Alcantara only pitched six games in 2018, but was really good with a 3-4-4. Then was a 3-8-8 last year, and wins and losses for him. He was 6-14 and because the Marlins stink. But he's actually a pretty good pitcher, has good stuff. I obviously think we buy tenfold win in this matchup, though Noah has the ability to be one of the best pitchers in the game. Sandy Alcantara is the Marlins ace because he's on the Marlins. He's really a, three, a really solid 3 through 5, obviously a 3 4 40 RA in 6 games followed by a 3 8 8 in 20 in 32 games, excuse me, is nothing to sneeze about, but he's not Aaron Nola. So we have the advantage there, of course, in the pitching matchup. Going into the lineup, we of course have the lineup advantage, but we'll just look at it. Jonathan Villar to McCutcheon, obviously, looking at that, that's actually a pretty even matchup of leadoff hitters. Villar is a very good leadoff hitter, and as we know, Kutch is a very good leadoff hitter. Hoskins to Aguilar, I still give us the advantage on, because Jesus Aguilar is a good hitter, but Reese, even in his struggling with strikeouts, still hit in the 260s in spring. If he's able to put a little bit more bat and ball, even hit in the 260s and do stuff like that, he's going to have a good year. And I think he's going to have a really good game because we're facing a fastball pitcher in Alcantara who really sets up his pitches with his fastballs. I think that's going to play to Hoskins this game. Corey Dickerson to Bryce Harper. I love Corey Dickerson. I wish we kept him. But obviously that's no contest. Bryce Harper wins that match in the lineup right there. And then JT Realmuto to Harold Ramirez. Harold Ramirez is a great young player for the Marlins, but that's also no contest. JT Realmuto wins that in a landslide. Same with Diddy Gregorius in the matchup of Brian Anderson. He's a good young player, but Diddy Gregorius looked great this spring, especially in camp two, and he's just going to get better and better. He's going to show out this year because it's a contract year. He's an approved one-year deal, and he's with his manager he played great with in Joe Girardi. So he's going to have a great year. Gene Segura is matched up in the lineup against Garrett Cooper against the Marlins. Mean Gene came in in shape, in the best shape of his life this year. I think he's going to have a great year. And I think we win that advantage over Garrett Cooper there. Jay Bruce with Hassan Diaz. Hassan Diaz did not hit well last year. He's a top prospect in the league at second base. But I would give that advantage to Jay Bruce because Diaz is a great defender. But obviously Jay Bruce is our DH, so we don't care about that when it comes to him. So that advantage goes to Bruce. Cervelli and Kingery, that goes to Scotty Jetpack. Um, Francisco Cervelli is a nice catcher. That's a good pickup for them. I'm happy that he's been able to stay behind his plate and do what he loves going through his health concerns. I hope he can stay healthy this year. But that still goes to Scott Kingery. And then last but not least, Roman Quinn and Rojas. That's a very close run. Roman Quinn has all the potential. Miguel Rojas is actually probably an underrated player in baseball. In 18, he had 252. And 488 at batch, then in about the same amount at batch last year, a few less with 43 at 285. So he's a really good ball, contact ball hitter, and a guy that knows how to put the bat on the ball. So, so does Roman Quinn, though, when he's going his best. I would actually have to give that one a little bit to Rojas because Rojas has proven it and has been healthy. Quinn has not. But that's only one spot in the lineup that I definitely give to the Marlins. So obviously, I give the Phillies an advantage. Over the Marlins, I believe Noah's going to be able to give us at least five good innings this game, and we'll be able to score at least two, three runs off of Alcantara. Because, like I said, he ain't easy to score off of. Three eight eight ERA, lower three ERA in six games a year before. That's nothing to sniff about. But I think we're going to be able to score off of this guy. I think we'll jump off him because a lot of our guys love feasting off of fastballs, and this guy loves using his fastball to to really get him going and get him going into games and even set up some of his other pitches sometimes. So I believe the Phillies are going to win this game because I think Noel's going to have a good game and the bullpen's going to pick him up. This has been a quick look ahead to the Phillies and Marlins. Have a great day, everybody. Let's go Phillies. Opening day is here. Peace out, everybody.